Because you were saying that I didn't, I didn't realise there was a punk revival. I still think about it being well, originally well, back, in like back in the 70s, back in the noughties. Day, The Offspring, Rancid, which came out in the mid-90s in America. Of course, American punk was always different back in the 70s. It was uh, cleaner. Yeah, the Ramones. It was faster and cleaner. I suppose the Ramones were a New York band. Well, you're not like saying there. Green Day was a revival, are you? Because that's 15 years ago anyway. No, no, Jenny Ranica. No, Green Day, much more recent yeah, form than that, were. weren't they? Mm. But uh, it's a question of playing fast guitar fastly yeah. uh, and singing. It's very much the American style. But the Dead Kennedys were a band yeah, that uh, we both like. Ball. Yeah, because they did uh, one of their favourites. I used to play on the radio and uh, was told off for doing it. Uh, Boy and His Lawnmower. It's a minute long. Do you know that one? I'm not sure if I know that one. Look it up. I know them all by name. I think it's too explicit. But some some you can't... uh, Holidays in Cambodia, of course, is is a classic. California Uber Allers. Another one, yeah. They they were one of the best. But your lyrics... um, that aren't so controversial. I try to uh, mix it up with a bit of comedy. Yeah, I can tell. It's quirky. I think it's a uh, madness influencer. That's it, because they tried to mix it up with a bit of almost bittersweet comedy. Yeah. There's a kind of sadness there at the heart of Matt. Maybe, maybe they've developed the sadness later, you know, or the weight of the money and all this. Well, I'm hugely influenced by a lot of old-school British comedy and uh, some dry, dark humour. So I tried to bring that out into sort of... Uh, much, com- much more commercial sound, and it certainly is. It's not. I, I think if they still had things, do they still have things like hits? Is it very difficult to actually sell a lot of music these days to make well, a living out of it? If you got a good song, that's and why not? Takes. Yeah. That's, uh, but isn't it all downloaded from YouTube? I mean, how do you still make any money, even if it's a good song, if you can get it on YouTube all the time? Well, it's uh, fans that like to go and buy the stuff. Mm. Yeah, they don't get to, they don't get to get it all on YouTube. You just give them a taster. Yeah. Uh, like, what's your MySpace page called? Are you MySpace dot com forward slash Mr Jack Official? I'm sorry, Mr Jack Official. Mr Jack Official. Yeah. Is there a spelt, though? Is there a squatter on, or is there another Mr Jack? There might be someone on there called Mr Jack. You can't always get there first. No, no. I'm on there as Radio Tom Mallow. Because there is another Tom Mallow who's yeah. some kind of snake dealer in Illinois or something. You know, I still use it because it's still good for bands to yeah. put their stuff on. But uh, it's sold not recently. the uh, fan base is like Facebook. No. How many friends have you got on Facebook? Oh, a few thousand, four thousand or something. Excellent. Yeah. I'm not on Facebook because... Uh, you know, I've got gardening and things to do instead, <laughs> you know. But if you haven't got a kid, kid and gardening, you know, stuff like that, then Facebook is probably fun. So have you got an album coming out? I've got a lot of singles here. I'm working on it, but uh, I prefer with the singles. It, it's short and sweet for people when they just want to download one particular song rather than going for the whole album. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So don't people cheat them. I want like, every, every song of the album to be a hit, you know, not, not cheat them with, like, album fillers. Yeah, there's too much of this. Mm. I mean, it always was, even in the so-called golden days of the 60s, where you get two tracks that were OK and yeah, the rest would be rubbish. Yeah. And it's still that you way now. You're skipping to the, the track you want to hear. Yeah, yeah. Why not just get that track? You know, it was terrible and when I was a kid. We had these cassettes and you'd have to get rewinding back to the track you liked all the time, you know. My Girl Sharon. Now, this is your previous... This has had a lot of plays on on MySpace, hasn't it? Yes. Uh, is it rude at all, this version? But there's no swearing in it. Good. Uh, well, there's no swearing. Will it end my career on the radio? I wouldn't have thought so, no. Uh, uh, OK. What's it about, Sharon? It's about uh, a girl that uh, I kind of regret going out with. Really? Yes. Is, is that her real name? No, made-up name. Yeah. So what, what happened? Listen to the song. Oh, yes. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to listen to My Girl Sharon.
nice ending again. Mm-hmm. No mistaking what that's called, My Girl Sharon. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, funny, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it is actually... It's, you know, she does everything, has It is actually pretty humorous. 